morning and welcome to the channel. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Ring that notification bell so you know when I put new videos up. Most of my videos have something to do with the outdoors or making your outdoor experience more pleasurable. Today we're back in the ambulance and we are going to install a Max Air vent fan. Here in the Midwest, it is crazy hot. It is crazy humid. And owning a rig or an RV, a schoolie, without a vent fan is a no-go. So today we're going to put in this vent fan. All right, so in the ambulance, your ribs run side to side. And they are 16 inches on center. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take these lights out. And we're going to put this Max Air fan right here. So that it's between two ribs. This is already on a switch, and she does not need these lights. We're going to take all these lights out, and she's going to redo the ceiling. So that Max Air fan is going to be wired to the switch, and we won't have to run any wiring. So make it that super easy. All right, so we got this opening cut out and we've got this die cord tape around here. We're gonna put the frame in and get this fan mounted. Alright, so the the sealant is all on. We've got the frame there and all we have to do is seat the fan, mount it, and then we're good to go on to the inside. All right, we are wrapping up this video. Man, it was a hot one. It it really took a, a bit to get this fan in. Um, putting it into the ambulance wasn't bad. Just a jigsaw blade and cutting the whole opening. And it is a pretty thick one, so you need you either real, need a small blade, cut the top, and then cut the bottom, or you need a longer blade so that you can get both layers, because it's, it's literally probably a good two, two and a half inches. So, the owner, we were going to use these lights and wire it from there. So, if you ever are thinking about doing that because you don't want to use those lights, because those lights, when they're on, they are so hot. So, do not do that. It was, they are wired so crazy. We try, I tried to run them in a series. It, it just didn't, it just didn't work. So we actually um, 
there was another switch in the in the ambulance going to a, like an aerator or something and so I wired the fan to that switch so now the max air fan I'm gonna turn this on I am cooking so anyway this was oh my gosh it's about 105 degrees outside here and on top of the metal roof and just trying to figure out the lighting system once I decided not to go into the lighting then it went very fast there's a fuse panel, um, where a switch panel where you where all the switches go for your aerator, your oxygen. Tap into one of them, go on the outside of the ambulance, take your side lights off, run that wire down the side lights, and over into the fan. That probably took 30 minutes. So, hindsight, hopefully this will help someone not spend the entire day trying to wire one of these things. So... Thanks for following along. Um, I hope this is helpful for someone. We'll see you next time.